Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about more properties of exponents, and we want to simplify this problem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. BA to the fourth power times 2BA to the fourth, all to the third power. Notice we have this thing here, BA to the fourth, and I see a BA to the fourth. This will be important later. What I'm going to first do is actually take this negative third power and, uh, well, there's a few ways. I can bring it to the denominator, but actually, no, I changed my mind. I'm going to distribute it here, okay, to each part as such. So we have BA to the fourth power here times 2 to the negative third power times B to the negative third power times A to the four times negative 3, remember we multiply that out, and we have a negative 12, okay? So we, now we want to combine our like terms. Well, 2 to the negative third power is by itself, and well, we really can put that in, well, let's just put it up front here. 2 to the negative third power, let's write that first. And then, <clears throat> let's go with the b's. We have b to the first power, right, and b to the negative third power. Multiply them together, we add the exponents, we have b to the negative 2 power. 1 minus 3, negative 2. So we've got this 2 to the negative 3 we brought over, we've dealt with the b's, now we just have the 2 a's. We have a to the 4th power times a to the negative 12, again we add the exponents. So <clears throat> 4 plus a negative 12 is a negative 8, and we're almost done. Why are we not done yet? Well, we have to bring everything down to the denominator, right? You can't have any positive exponents. Luckily, this is now very easy to do so. All these values can come down with a positive exponent. Negative in the numerator here makes it a positive in the denominator. So 2 to the third, b squared, and a to the eighth power, all underneath 1. Well, 2 to the third, we know what that is. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So we have 1 over 8b squared, a to the eighth power, and now we're done. That is our final answer. If this video was helpful for you, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com